morning guys welcome to today's video it's Monday the second day that we left the horses out um, show you some pictures in the camera that I took this morning and uh, Penny and lady were hanging out together on the one side of the barn and on the other side of the barn um, Storm was lying down, Willow was lying down, and Honey was in around there, but you couldn't really see her because I guess where I have the camera set up, there's um, some wood in the way, so that <laughs> you can hardly see that great in the camera, but I'll show you a picture of that. We're going to see how they are today. I wonder if they're waiting for breakfast. Let's check it out. Everyone waiting for breakfast? Yeah, Penny, waiting for breakfast. Oh, we got Penny. Oh, we got Storm on this side today. Oh, good job, Stormy. I'll feed you first, okay? Feed you, then I'll feed all these guys. All right, and you guys are all right, and then I'll put your fly mats on and open the gate to the other field. You guys can have some good hay. All right, got everybody's fly mats on. This one for Storm isn't very good. I can't find any ones for you. Let me fix it. All right, they got all their, their fly masks on. And they were a pain this morning. Got a fresh new load of hay. And I'm gonna give them some hay. Always leave a little hay for these guys. For breakfast, right, Storm, for breakfast? I've opened the fields up so they can go in the field now. But they like to come in and have their breakfast. They have their grain and then they have their little hay snack. They only get like a tiny flake each. And then, then they go out and enjoy the rest of their day. Well, Willow wants some hay. All right, I'll put some out here for you. Okay. Let's split this one up. Uh-oh. Put some over here. In this pile. There's a pile there for you. There's a pile there. Split this one up. There we go. Willow, there's a pile for you. Put a little greasy over there. I gotta get her some. She's the odd person out. She's the odd person out now. I always see Lady and Penny together, and now I see. Storm, the baby, and Willow, believe it or not, together. I'll get you some, Gracie. I'll get you some, okay? Just wait, be patient. <laughs> Gracie's the smart one. <laughs> she went all the way back around. Here, I'll put it over here in your pile, okay? This is usually where she has breakfast in the morning. That's your one flake breakfast, okay? One free flake breakfast until you go to the hay. It's all nice and calm and quiet. Everybody having their breakfast. See, here's an example of honey. She gets along with everybody. So she's eating hay with Lady over there right now. But she can eat hay pretty much with anybody, except I've never seen her with Willow, so. All right, so morning chores are different now because uh, we don't do the stalls when they're not in there, but I have to clean up this area still because it's a mess. Clean it all up. Clean up this area. Clean up this area because they come in here to poop. I don't know why, but they do. So Honey gets along with all of the horses. So is she really the boss or is she just the baby that everybody thinks they have to protect? I put the wrong fly mask on Lady, and then she didn't want me to change it, so... <laughs> That's the one Storm you was, has been wearing lately. I don't know what happened to hers. I got my trusty radio here. I don't know if I told you, but I got this radio in 1984. Yeah. Still works. Uh, I guess that was the year that boom boxes were popular and uh 
Yeah, that was my boom box. I used to break dance to that, if you can believe it or not. I used to break dance with this thing. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Every day we have a video. I love it. So back when we started YouTube, daily vlogs was a big thing. Like that's what everybody did. And then over time, people got tired of it and they stopped doing it because it's a lot of work. A few channels that I watch still do daily vlogs and I love it. I'm like, I'm like a workaholic kind of a girl and I love it. Pool is still looking nice, even though it's kind of warped. Super warm. But you guys, I am loving this summer. I'm loving it. Like, I don't think I've ever loved a summer more than this summer. All right, I've probably loved some summers. But I'm loving this summer. But you guys know what the difference between loving the summer? I like being able to ride by myself on the road. What? I like riding by myself on the road. Sophie likes riding by herself on the road. Yeah. Um. It's so my favorite thing, the difference between loving the summer and just living through the summer, is a choice. You just get to choose. Like, your brain will feel whatever you tell it to feel. So if you're like, I love this summer and you find all the things that you like about it. Like I love the weather. We've had some hot days, just a few hot days and the rest have been like nice. And we have the pool for the really hot days. I don't know. I feel like this summer has realized all my biggest dreams and the animals have been amazing. I love Sophie's horse. Like I'm not jealous because I love my horse and I don't really want that for me. Like I don't want a big powerful horse that's gonna take me anywhere I want to go. So I'm not jealous, but I love her. Like I love that horse. I love everything about her. She's just got the best little personality and she's amazing. I love that Sam fixed this. I just need to figure out how to clean it. Like well, how are they getting dirt in there? How do I empty it? It's fresh water inside. I don't know. Chickens are messy. Look. I know, they all just came in to see me. Let's check the food. Uh-oh, we're out. All right, we're probably not out. No, we're not out, but we're getting close. So I'll fill that up. I'm pretty sure it's the ducks that are making the mess of the waterers. But I love it in here now. Come on, get in here. Everybody out. We're gonna let the ducks in that area for a little while. So, uh, like I've said before, chicken chores are not my favorite chores. And all the dogs are out. Look at our turkeys. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Look at that. Like, I just see beauty. Look at that rooster behind. I just see so much beauty. Look at how sweet that turkey is. Tilting its head all cute. Obviously, it's like puffed up telling everybody to back off. Oh my gosh. I love turkey, you guys. Look at it tilting its head. It is the cutest little little creature. They want this water. We're like, let's get in the water. Let's push them into there now. All right, all right, whoops. All right, let's do it. Ow, what? Did you have to peck me, man? Who pecked you? The chicken. Okay, I love a preening turkey. I love it. it I don't even know if that's the same one. I think I have two boys and two girls. Is that what we said? Look at that, that's huge. That's a huge turkey. But look at that one's got a red neck. They are so gorgeous. I can't wait. Like these are our two new breeds of chickens for the summer. We got little tiny, tiny miniature ducks. Aren't they adorable? Oh, do you know what? They're, that one looks like it's chasing her around. I'm just going to give you guys all fresh food, but oh my gosh. Sophie, I need your phone. Okay, um, not right now. I want to take pictures of this guy. He's so gorgeous. Look at how gorgeous. Hi, babies. We didn't socialize them good enough. I wish we did, but I love turkeys. <laughs> Especially a big old Tom. Oh, that's a girl for sure. Isn't she adorable? That's where you're from. Oh my gosh. You guys are probably like, yeah, who cares? It's a turkey, but you know what? If you learn to see beauty in everything that you see, it's an amazing world to live in. 
I think we definitely, maybe we have three girls and a boy, which is perfect. She's so cute. I love my coop. I love the coop in our old house. The way the coop was set up, I love to be able to sit out there and just watch the chickens. It gave me so much peace. And ever since we've lived here, chicken coop has never really been set up the way that gave me peace. Like it has to be a certain way for me to feel peaceful. It has to be like, I don't know how to explain it. And we can stand up in this chicken coop, Sophie said, yeah. But anyway, I love it so much. I still have to get to the tax store and get Sophie some new riding pants, maybe this weekend. So a lady is going for another ride on the road. Do you like to go for a ride on the road, lady? Sophie says you do. When she comes back, Sophie goes over to the fridge and lady gets so excited. Well, cause she knows what's gonna happen. She turns her whole body, stares at Sophie over at the fridge. So what <laughs> gives you so much confidence about this horse? Um, first of all, on the road, she's been going on the road like her whole life, so she doesn't get an excuse. Yeah, so she gets the road, like, so that, but what, everything about her gives you confidence. What, like, why is it? She's a big, giant horse. But she also stops when I tell her to. Yeah, and she's powerful, but she's so easy, right? Mm -hmm. She learned somewhere along the line to behave and to be a good girl. I heard you get her from the field because I heard all the other horses screaming. Yeah. Who was it? I don't know. Anyway, so he's gonna go for another quick ride. We're gonna hopefully go longer this time. All right, I'll be, I'm gonna bring a chair and I'm gonna sit down there and read my book while you're gone and wait for you to come back. I'll be that mom, I'll be sitting down there waiting for you to come back. Someone suggested that we put a whiteboard up and then everybody um, writes down when they leave and where they're going in case uh, time goes by and they go missing and that is such a good idea but not so much for us because I wouldn't leave the house without you knowing. yeah nobody leaves the house without everybody else knowing it's like a rule in our house we tell people where we're going putting this on so that um the bugs don't go in her ears all right even when i sit down at the couch to put my boots on she turns her whole body so she can i know them. she's so inquisitive and so smart i love my dog i love my horse I'm gonna ride my horse again soon. But I love my dog. I love my horse. I love my turkeys so much. I love my pigs and I love lady. I love the goats. I love everybody, but I like get a feeling. Do you know what I mean? Like some animals like give you a feeling. You get like a feeling when you're around them. Like I feel so much peace with my pigs. Both of them. I love both of them. She didn't run away from me today because she because last time I didn't take her in the arena. So she's like, ooh, what are we doing instead? I know, she likes to work. She likes to go places. She likes to come home too. Look at how serious she looks. She's just standing there looking at me out of the corner of her eye. She's like not this serious. So Sophie stopped to visit the neighbors. Like the neighbors were sitting out and they were waving at her. So she like let them pet lady and stuff. I missed it. See if she'll do it again. Sophie was just like playing with her lips and just kissing her. And she just has like the softest look in her face. And she's just so, and Sophie and I said at the same time, like she is so sweet. You want to get her a new bridle? A good one. A fancy one? But honestly, like the sweetest horse ever, but still has, she's like sweet, but she just has energy and excitement and she wants to go. Like I told God, the horse that's perfect for us will be a horse that wants to do stuff. A horse that wants to like be busy and is excited to do anything. For one whole day, the next day she's like, okay, what are we doing? I know. She's honestly the sweetest horse I've ever met in my life. Like, I love her. Up here. She is so pretty. Sophie says she looks so pretty from up here. All right, I'm going to take my chair. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Film that. It's so fun to ride her. Hopefully she doesn't spook at the pool again. She spooked at the pool yesterday? Look, she rides with her head down. Now. Yeah, so she's starting to relax. Like, she's kind of getting it. See, she puts her head down a little bit more. But when she's excited, she puts it straight up. I'll sit on the porch. Okay. You'll hear me when I'm back. Yeah. Have fun. Okay. Ellie, get off the road. Come on. Ellie. <laughs> I love them. I'm, I'm jealous. Come on. I'm jealous because um, somebody's out there living her dreams. Like she, 
her bet one of her best friends elizabeth has a new horse but he's rehabbing from a injury so they can't get together but once they can get together i'm gonna break we're gonna bring him here and they're gonna do so much fun stuff together so uh, this is my little porch area right now let that be like a lesson to all of us she's out there making her dreams come true even though she's alone i love that she's taking lady away from her friends and just going all the time because it's building their bond even this much closer like one day soon lady it'll be lady and sophie only so a horse and buggy went by and got sophie passed them and sophie says she got really excited I told Sophie I'll go with her. I'll go with her the next time. But she has this crazy idea where she she wants to pony honey. <laughs> I think it's only good for her to like learn that stuff and lady loves honey. Hi guys. You're in out of the sun. Right, I'll bring you a carrot, okay? So I don't want like Sophie to do something that m knocks down her confidence, especially this early in her journey. She's gotten a little freaked out over the poles and Sophie's gonna do a show soon, so I <laughs> gotta get past that. Oh, there's some chickens. The pig's here. Everybody wants to come for the show. All the horses are here now. Girl. Yeah, there you go. It's because she got scared last time she did poles. This side. Okay. So, Sophie says if this okay, is- that is such a huge height difference. Oh my. Sophie says, if this doesn't work out, get over there, pony. I got her. Don't worry. That she's just gonna drop the lead rope and then I'll just go. One's slow and one's fast. One's, one's resisting. So remember, like, this is all new for honey. Good girl. Lady, lady's never. I don't know. Lady might not have ever ponied somebody before. <laughs> My little piggy. <coughs> she's gonna jump the pole. I just can't get over how well my life is set up for me. Like, I just can't get over it. Like, I, if I just sat out here and watched Sophie play with the horses and try all this stuff and had chickens wandering around and my pig asking for a, uh, a belly rub, like, this is just, this is heaven to me. Like, I don't ever even ever want to leave the farm right now. Like, leaving the farm is for winter. Right now, it's just glorious and fun and amazing and I'm obsessed with life.
Good girl. Are you going to trot it? No, she's done. She's done? She did a good, she was perfect all day. Like almost the whole way home. You tried it all the way home? Look at that butt. I'm all about a nice big butt. Long ago, I tried a Clydesdale mare. Oh, I remember that. I know, it was like hard for me. It was before I learned to ride at the Paso Place. Like I really learned to ride at the Paso Place and it was really hard for me, but I loved it. Like I love Clydesdales. Like they are so special. She's not Clydesdale. I know, she's a Clydesdale cross. Which I love even more. Like I love every, like, you guys, how many times did I say I love her in this video? But I love her. Do this. this little pool is, is standing up. Posey comes in here. Posey comes in here every single day. I love when she does that. I saw a comment today saying that the boy pig would probably appreciate a pool too. And he has one. He has a different kind, but he definitely has one. He goes in it all day. Pigs can't cool down and they can actually like die from the heat because they can't She's cool like, down. She's like, only my neck, please. They can get really sick, so. Uh, and get really overheated so um he does have a pool and he uses it he goes like i watch him out the window or sometimes i'm sitting on the front porch and i watch him and he like runs from the grass he runs to the pool he swims he gets out he he rummages around in the in the dirt for a little while and then he runs back to his pool like he uses it a lot and posey uses this pool and she uses the pool that we have down for the duck. So we have a duck, a little tiny pool for the duck. We have a posy pool and then we have a, a Knickers, Snickers pool. So everybody's got a pool that needs a pool, you guys. Don't worry, we got it covered. She's like, just do my body, man. Yeah, she loves a good mist. Do her legs. I did. Do not do her legs, so. I'm sorry about the same content two days in a row, <laughs> but I can't help it. We're getting ready for a show and Sophie's just wanting to ride all the time now. I told her that the next time she goes on the road, I'll go with her. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, this is a much quieter road than our old road. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go. And I think Penny loves to go with Lady. So I think it won't be that big of a deal. Don't you know that you're beautiful?